The game we're going to talk today about is one of the most interesting games for late late time. Why? Because it's actually destroying stream charts now. And Devolver Digital knows what they were doing this time once again. Today's guest is the Cult of the Lamb. And if you haven't heard about this game, well, sit down and enjoy this review because it's gonna be super interesting. And before we start, I would like to ask you if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do that. Press notification bell like this video you can already remove it if you don't like the video in the end but for now please bless it and let's make a deal if you don't like it remove it if you like the video keep it let's start Volver digital is really known for publishing really quite of quirky and of beat in the games with times and concept you won't often see cult of the lamb really continues this trend of weird and really wacky ideas that sometimes feel like a joke at first but then the charm of it manages to hook you in Unfortunately, the charm also wears off sometimes, and it may be really strange. You play as a sacrificed lamb turned into cult leader in death to the god that saved them from the death. Sounds really strange, right? But believe me, there is something in it. Cult of the Lamb is a fantastic mix of the cute finish blending together with the roguelite with the farm simulator genres to make one of the this year's best games. Yes, you heard it right, one of the best games. It's really cool of how the concept is made, the graphics is made, mechanics, gameplay, story, but okay, let's not run too fast. The roguelike genre experienced a really mainstream moment in 2020 with the release of the games like Hades and the relief that they found. A lot of people are trying to understand what's cool about this game and undeveloped parts of the Hades involved in the redevelopment of the underworld itself, which added positive bones and fuser the story between the Gargoyles and the NPCs. If you loved Haze, but wanted a more and a base mass management aspect, Cult of the Lamp is perfect game for you. As it really sounds cool for you, well, let's dive more deep into that. At the start of the Cult of the Lamp, your character is sacrificed by the bishops. This monstrous rules chain of kind of the domination over the lands, where you admise and delease your lands to the one who waits. At the tiny shanked underworld, Powell's revenge to this fallen god that asked you to start a call in the name of the order and vanish the bishops. Yes, you're working a very evil looking fella, who also wants to take him out of the evil Luke's fields. It looks like everyone here is a baddie, and the story unfolds and the bishops will threaten and deconcert you, opening to see you fall before your quest is completed. However, there are a few friends that are willing to help you along the way. To be clear, through the narrative it isn't the game's strongest suit here, but the gameplay actually adds what is cool. The action takes place in the area that are in connected rooms, akin to the most dungeon crawls that you've seen in the past. The room will either have several enemies that will need to be vanished or a section with lots of resources, an NPC who lets you draw tarot, carrots, and something like that, uh, bots or whatever. The loops basically have the cleaning rooms, battling rooms, sub-bosses, reloading, a few runs to unlock a sealed gate that eliminating the boss to the zone. Less than the repeatable steps you'd like to do. Still one thing you need to keep in mind, Cult of the Lamb is a beginner-friendly roguelike. Yes, the punishments are punishments if you're not careful enough, but most of attack animations are easy enough to telegraph. Bosses are obviously have the tells that you need to know before you go move and understand it. Likewise the deaths. It don't mean that you have to restart your entire progress from the stage. Instead, you mostly lose the percentage of the safety to your base if the things are going isn't as planned. Cult of the Lamb's presentation as destroy my compute camp, which at first considered to be a feature. Maybe designs were knocking them down. There was until my temple vanished, which you can only build once. After an area jumping and reloading, I got back, but then I couldn't perform any of the seamless rituals that I did. Well, this is the things that might be fixed. But anyway, Cult of the Lamp is very clever and wonderfully designed and the script sharp and funny game. The atmosphere is great, helping to do one of the small parts, art, which immediately endears itself to you. Speaking of Fitch, making all of his followers adorable, Wickle, Criterius was a smart choice. Cult of the Lamp takes a big risk with its unusual combo of genres, but it pays off in spectacular fashion. The dungeon crawling is also adding in a way that the best roguelites are a cult management like Animal Crossing Gone Evil with T-rated spin that something like that works. It's tough enough to make the game that targets one genre, but let alone to make it so cool with such graphics and atmosphere. Well, Cult of the Lamb did it great. 
So a big thanks for you to watch this video and I hope you're really interested now in trying this game because believe me, in the end of the year, which is quite soon actually, people will really talk a lot about this game. Thank you everyone for watching and I see you in the next one. Ciao.